Hello guys, Joey Let's Dippin' back here for another review, and today I'm in an extremely good mood, and I'm gonna show you why. Finally, I got my jugs. Got the ordinary black one, and I got the real hardwoods tree green, real tree hardwoods green, limited edition mud jug. Look at that, huh? That's a beauty. They both are. So you know what this means? No more spitting into this Powerade bottle that I've been spitting in for every single video I've done, then emptying it when it's full. I had to look to make sure it didn't crack open. But no, now I have mud jugs. And I went to the tea store today, and I picked up a few different things here. Picked up Copenhagen snuff, of course, gotta love the snuff. Alrighty. Uh, I got peach, but I already kind of finished that off. Uh, got Skull Extra Crisp, the only extra I haven't reviewed yet. Uncracked, haven't opened it. I tried it the other day from a friend who gave me a lip, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, got Copenhagen Wintergreen Long Cut here. I should have said Long Cut Wintergreen, but you know what I mean. I've also noticed uh, that this is new. This wasn't here on the last Coke can I bought, but it's on this and the Snuff. Guaranteed fresh, call 1-866-404-1822. Then lastly, I picked up something that I've never seen around here, and I was shocked they had it. And I've seen some reviews on it, so I bought it anyways. And that would be Hawk and Wintergreen. So... I like the way the can looks. It's very cartoony, but it's cool looking. For some odd reason, there's no warning label on the side. But it has one on the bottom, that might be why, I'm not sure. Anyways, I was observing the tin after I bought it, and I saw that it said chewing tobacco instead of dip, and I'm like, <laughs> even these fuckers don't know the difference between chewing and dip, and they make it. Uh, but then I opened it up, and I'm pretty sure that's actually chewing tobacco and but I don't want to try it until I know for sure but it's definitely not dip it's not like red man chew it's not leafy it's more uh, just kind of chopped up but not quite chopped up enough to be dip. so if any of you can enlighten me that this is actually chew before I try it to find out that it's not Please let me know, because I always thought it was a dip. Seen reviews and everything, and heard about it, and never actually knew it was a chew. So, let me know. But anyways, for today what we're going to be reviewing is the Copenhagen Wintergreen. I haven't had this in a long time. The first can I ever had, it was in the cardboard can. Now they put it in a plastic can. Not sure why. Oh, holding that upside down. Anyways, the expirations, well, sell by May 29, 2011, so pretty good. Um, so yeah, I already had a pinch on my way home from school, and we're gonna have another one. I know a lot of people say that, you know, they should keep Cope Snuff and Cope Long Cut in the cardboard, and then since this came out in, I think, 09, they should have kept it in plastic, so maybe... They either realized that or they saw a lot of people saying that and they said, eh, let's put it in a plastic tin. Okay, so the center of it is... It's kind of a nasty... Well, not nasty. It's kind of an off-putting scent. A lot of uh, wintergreen dips smell horrible, even though they taste okay. Um, grizzly wintergreen, which I hate, smells like total ass. However, Skull Extra Winter Green smells good. This is in between the two. It doesn't smell terrible, but it doesn't smell awesome either. So we're kind of at that point. So let's pack this up. So yeah, can't see it that well. It's a cloudy day out. Well, we have a little string there. Oh, that's all right. It's all going in the same place. Put a little more in. This 
is my first fit into a mud job. Making it big. Oh yeah, I can feel the power. I'm extremely excited about it. Um, I mean, just look at how sexy these are. So, uh, you know, it packs, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, regular long cut people say that it's more of a mid cut, um, which it really is. It's almost like between mid cut and long cut, I would say. But this is actually uh, just long cut. So this just packs like, you know, pretty much any other long cut out there. Um, usually with mintier or wintergreen dips, I either get a burn or I get a mint tingle. I never usually get both, but I'm getting a little bit of both out of this. I have a bit of a minty tingle, but also a little bit of a burn. Nothing too extreme, though. Man, it's nice to have one of these. They're perfect. It's awesome. The bottom's weighted, can't spill, can't spill out of the funnel. I love them. So, now on to the pack ability. Like I said, it, it, grabbing it, it packs pretty much the same. Um, for this pinch so far and the pinch I had prior, uh, it stays in your mouth fine. No real floaters or anything. The other pinch I had also lasted a pretty long time. Not the longest I've ever had, but it lasts uh, a decent amount of time, definitely. Um, okay, about a half hour, uh, maybe 45 minutes around there. And it's, it's not old, so it's uh, pretty good. Now onto the flavor. It uh, Even though the smell isn't perfect, it does have a nice wintergreen taste to it. It's a nice, smooth wintergreen taste. It, uh, with the Skull Extra Wintergreen, I think that has a much boosted flavor of the Wintergreen. Uh, it's very good, but it's almost a little bit too much of a flavor. But this is uh, this has just a nice, uh, smooth, even flavor. Um, you can taste both the Wintergreen and the tobacco. That's something I like when you can taste both the tobacco and the flavor. You can definitely do that with this. Um... I almost go up to it to spit like this because that's how you do with a bottle because I'm still adjusting to this sexy thing right here. If you're wondering why it took me so long to get a mud jug, it's because I don't have a lot of money, so... Well, I have enough money to spend on dip, but barely, so, you know, it took a while to get the money to get one of these. Just so you know, when you buy a limited edition mud jug, you get a black one for free. So, it's basically a two-for-one deal, so that's pretty damn good right there. So, yeah, the flavor is nice and smooth. It's not too much. Um, no real kick out of it. I don't really get a kick out of it. I get a little bit of a kick out of the snuff in the long cut, but out of the other Copes I've tried are Copenhagen's. I don't really just sell the Copes like whiskey around here. Uh, not really a real kick, but that's okay. You don't really need to have a real kick to uh, for, for it to be a good dip. Ah, very happy. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this stuff is pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Gonna get to the shout outs now. Speaking of Mud Jugs, the creator of Mud Jugs, Darcy, uh, is who I'd like to give the big shout out to this video. Uh, I subscribed to him last night. I was watching a bunch of his videos, and he subscribed to me. And his uh, username is Mudjug1. So that's to Darcy. And uh, that's all I have for new subscribers at the moment. But I want to give my regular shout outs. Cajun Tiger 616, of course, always. You gotta love Cajun Tiger 616. Come on. Uh, Do my dash. Another great reviewer on here. Uh, Sigboy OK, he's a funny kid, watch his videos, he has an epic parrot. And he taught his parrot to cuss. What else could you ask for him a parrot, you know? That's perfect. Um, <clears throat> one bought Tortsy Dipper, or one bought a Tort Dipper, I'm not sure. He never corrected me on the way I'm saying it, so... One of those two, check him out. 
Ninja Dipper, who in the past requested me to do this stuff. Um, Country Boy Andy, who comes into my blog TV, which here's the link again. I know I keep advertising it, but I want more people to come in. I apologize the past few nights I wasn't in, um, but I'm going to be in again. Uh, B. Van Sittert, 56, he's another guy that I that comes into my blog TV, as well as 5555 Bomber. All them come in, they're great guys, so check all them out. So those are the shoutouts for this video. Now it's time for a rating on this. Um, like I said, it's very good stuff. It's not a dip you get sick of, definitely not. Um, there's a nice easy going with green flavor, a nice little burn to it, not really a buzz though. Uh, so I'm going to give this a dip a 9 out of 10. It's good stuff. Like I said, the scent's a little off putting. Not as bad as Grizzly. But once you have it in your lip, it's really good. So definitely try it out if you haven't. Thanks for watching, guys. More reviews coming soon with my epic mud jugs. Take care.